What is up everybody, Galactic Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is a little, little different from my normal content, but that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So, Polyphia, one of my favorite bands uh, ever, put out, whoa, hold on, they put out, oops, they put out a new song, and so we are going to react to it. I have heard a few seconds of it, and that's it, so... We are going to watch this, so let's go. Okay, why is it... <laughs> 4K? That's crazy. Alright, we'll go 1080p. I like it. How does that? That's something that uh, Polyphia does a lot recently. Is they'll like. They'll work linear. They'll just walk down the scale. I love it. These guitars are cool too. Looks custom to me because I've seen I've seen Tim Henson with that guitar, but it never had like all these chrome bits on it. So I assume that that's something for just a music video. But who knows? Yeah, it is. That's so cool. Scott LePage has a lot more uh, interesting part in this, it seems. The same was for playing God, though. He had a pretty interesting part for that, too. This is kind of, this is pretty cool. Oh, that was sick. <clears throat> oh, this is so cool. I noticed Scott LePage has gotten a lot more solos on this song compared to the normal stuff. It's an open change for me. He's a very underrated guitarist. I like the setting here too, like the weird uh, background and stuff with all the lights. That was a cool drop. Whoa. This is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like the synth um, in it. A lot of their songs typically don't have a synth part, but that's cool. I didn't even. I I never really noticed throughout the song that it was there, but there's like a synth um, part, which is how he writes his riffs. Uh, Tim Henson, when he writes a riff, what he'll do is he'll he'll Basically, he'll play it on a on a synth, and then he will write that exact same part on guitar. So that's why stuff like Goat 
for example, which is one of the ones that I actually know how to play, it jumps around. Like that. I don't have a pick, so it's kind of hard right now, but still. But that's why stuff like that, it jumps around because it's not because he just wants it to look hard. It's because that's how it has to be played. Otherwise, you can't exactly do the same um, effect. So that's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. I like these. Um, I like that, and I like the custom. I didn't even notice, but on the bass drum, there's actually like that weird custom design. So that's pretty sick. I quite enjoyed that. I like these camera angles, too, at the beginning. It almost made it look... Like it's animated because the way the camera turns and then wait not here yeah the way that it zooms out and then it almost like it's digital zooming on like an 8k camera you know what i mean so it's almost like it was a wide shot and then they're using digital zoom and like um key burns to like move the camera that was awesome that was really cool i like it it's called uh neurotica <laughs> so Remember that you will die. What is this? Ah, <laughs> so uh, apparently people have already checked it out. There's a drum playthrough that came out the same exact. Okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to be one of the first, and Nick Nocturnal already did this. So it's fine. Bye, everybody. Wapashk.